You know that feeling when a brand quietly works in the background for years and suddenly drops something that changes everything. That's exactly what Samsung's doing right now, and this time, it's not just another phone launch. It's a massive comeback story that could shake the entire smartphone industry. And the craziest part, it all starts with a chip that almost nobody saw coming. Hey everyone, Sam here, welcome back. If you're loving these deep dives into the latest Galaxy news, make sure to like the video, share it with your tech, loving friends, and subscribe so you don't miss the next big update. So here's where things get wild. After months of silence and leaks that barely made sense, Samsung has finally begun mass production of its long-awaited 2 nanometer Exynos 2600 chip, and it's happening earlier than expected. This move changes everything because it signals Samsung's big return to the flagship processor game. Remember how last year's Galaxy S25 lineup used only Snapdragon chips? That's about to change in a major way. This time, Samsung's betting on itself again. The Exynos 2600 isn't just another upgraded version. It's built on a brand new foundation that focuses on power efficiency, raw performance, and smarter thermal control. The company even introduced a new cooling system called Heat Pass Block, or HPB, which aims to eliminate the overheating issues that haunted older Exynos chips. If this works as promised, Samsung might finally erase one of its biggest weaknesses. But that's just the start. Leaks show that the Galaxy S26 lineup, especially the S26 Ultra, is going all in with next-gen chipsets. The Ultra will reportedly pack Qualcomm's most powerful processor ever, the Snapdragon 80 Elite Gen 5. But here's the twist Samsung is getting a special edition of that chip, one that other brands like Xiaomi, OnePlus, and Honor won't get until next year. Insiders say Samsung's version will feature slightly higher clock speeds which basically means faster performance and better efficiency. It's like Qualcomm built the Elite Gen 5 and then made a, for Galaxy, edition just for Samsung. Now, let's talk design, because that's where things start to spark debate. A new photo of the Galaxy S26 Ultra's protective case has surfaced online, and while it may sound small, it actually reveals a lot. The case confirms that Samsung's sticking with its flat, frame design and four rear cameras, but with a slightly cleaner, more polished look. The bezels, razor thin. The sides, smooth and minimal. Even the lanyard holes look premium. But some fans are divided. While many love the simplicity, others feel the design changes don't go far enough for a next-gen flagship. Still, Samsung's playing it smart. The company clearly wants the Ultra to be recognized instantly. A design that says, this is a Galaxy Ultra, even from across the room. It's classic Samsung confidence. But under that familiar look, the story is way more interesting. The real transformation is happening inside. Let's rewind for a second. The Exynos 2500, which was supposed to power last year's Galaxy S25, failed to launch because Samsung's 3 nanometer production process wasn't ready. That chip ended up being delayed so badly that Samsung had to rely completely on Snapdragon chips. It was embarrassing for a company that once prided itself on making its own processors. But instead of giving up, Samsung doubled down. They scrapped their Thurnum strategy, focused everything on the Sukum node, and quietly worked on fixing every weakness. Now that hard work is finally paying off. Early reports say the Exynos 2600 is already outperforming both the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and Apple's A19 Pro in benchmark tests. That's insane, especially considering how far behind Exynos chips were just two years ago. It shows Samsung isn't just catching up, they're trying to take the lead. But here's where things get strategic. Samsung reportedly plans to split its Galaxy S26 lineup again by region. Markets like the US and South Korea will likely get Snapdragon-powered models, while others, like Europe and parts of Asia, may finally get the Exynos 2600 version. And this time, Samsung's not hiding it. The company's confident that its new chip can go head-to-head -head with Qualcomm's best. Now, let's not ignore the bigger picture. By launching the Exynos 2600 early, Samsung is also proving something to the entire semiconductor industry. They're showing that their two nanometer manufacturing process is ready for mass production, a direct challenge to TSMC, the company that's been dominating chip manufacturing for years. Samsung even lowered the cost of its 7num wafers recently to attract new clients, signaling that it's not just about phones anymore, it's about regaining power in the global chip market. If the Exynos 2600 performs as well in real-world use as the benchmarks suggest, this could be the start of Samsung's redemption arc. But if it doesn't, it might push Samsung even deeper into Qualcomm's shadow. 
That's why the Galaxy S26 series launch next year feels so critical. It's not just another smartphone event, it's Samsung's do, or die moment to prove that Exynos is finally back where it belongs. And that brings us to the ultimate question, can Samsung pull this off? Can the Exynos 2600 not only compete with Qualcomm and Apple, but actually win? Because if it does, we might be witnessing one of the greatest comebacks in tech history. But if it fails, well, let's just say the internet won't let Samsung forget it anytime soon. Either way, one thing's clear, the Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be one of Samsung's boldest, most high stakes launches ever. And with leaks, case reveals, and chip wars heating up, we're just getting started. So stay tuned because this story is about to get a lot more interesting.